Hi, I'm Olivia with Running Shoes Guru, and I'm here to review the Saucony Endorphin Pro 2. The Endorphin Pro 2 is built to give you that edge on race day. Uh, it was built for speed, but can also double as a daily trainer due to its ample cushioning. A major feature it offers is Saucony's Ultralight Power Run PB and the carbon fiber plate. One of the biggest upgrades from the Pro 1 to the Pro 2 would be the lacing system. And this new system just gives your foot a locked in fit and you can thank the extra little loopholes that Saucony has provided uh, across the midfoot. It weighs in at 6.3 ounces, has an offset of eight millimeters and it will cost you around 199. So looking at the shoe, you can just tell the craftsmanship put into the shoe. It is a very impressive looking shoe. Putting them on for the first time was surprising. They are definitely a lot lighter than they look. The upper felt like I was wearing a sock that was attached to the sole of the shoe. It was just extremely comfortable and I liked it right away. My first impressions was an excited one. As soon as I opened the box and looked at it, I was very, very excited to put uh, the shoe on. The colors and just the overall design of the shoe is extremely sleek looking. And I know they offer it in a, the checkered flag pattern. And I just think those patterns and colors just scream built for speed. My first run in the Endorphin Pro 2s was a 5K and I got into my stride right away. They felt fantastic. I had no major complaints. The sole of the shoe is where the shoe shines. It is not too firm or not too plush. The midsole is made up of Saucony's Power Run uh, PB foam. And in the middle, there is an S-shaped carbon fiber plate. And this plate runs the full length of the shoe. And this is called Saucony's Speed Roll. The Speed Roll gives you a heel to toe off that is smooth as silk. The upper is made of a single layered engineered mesh material. Uh, it is very lightweight and breathable. The two big upgrades from the Pro 1 to the Pro 2 would be the lacing system and the heel counter. The heel counter hugged my heel very nicely and I had no issues with slipping. Most racing shoes run pretty narrow, but I was very surprised with how much room that these gave me. My conclusion of the Saucony Endorphin Pro 2s would be that this shoe was made for racing or running at higher speeds. If you do not run at higher speeds in this shoe, you will not be able to feel everything that this shoe has to offer. I would not recommend this shoe for someone who is looking for a slower paced, long distance running shoe. You can definitely use it for the marathon distance, but as long as you are pushing your pace. This shoe has been one of my all time favorite shoes that I have tested out. When I try to think of something negative or something I didn't like about the shoe, it's really, really hard for me to think of something. Saucony did a fantastic job on this shoe. If you would like to learn more about the Saucony Endorphin Pro 2, please check out my full review at runningshoesguru.com.